Well, a 10 year old Pasadena boy is fighting for his life after he was hit by gunfire while playing in his front yard on Valentine's Day. And Pat, we're told it happened in the middle of the day at Park Street in Garfield. CBS 2's Rick Montanez explains it is the latest in a string of shootings in that area. Pasadena police are back in the neighborhood surrounding Villa Park just one day after someone shot 10 year old Mario Ramirez while he played outside his house. You can see the bullet holes left in the wall. It's good to see them out here and, and I, I see them talking to some of the neighbors and stuff and I've talked to some of them too. Kyle Layton knew someone was shot yesterday but learned just this morning it was a young boy. That's shocking to hear that. I mean, who's, who goes and shoots kids like that? Three o'clock Sunday afternoon, Valentine's Day. Police say a car drove up to the home on the corner of Park Street and Garfield Avenue. At least one person got out and began shooting. A family member tells me the boy was struck at least three times, once near his heart, also in his wrist and leg. While police search for the person who shot him, he is facing a second surgery today. But this is really, really bad, really bad. I mean, we not expect this. Sorry to see that. This man says the violence around here is the worst he's seen in 30 years. He and other neighbors say it's due to gang activity. Three people have been shot to death nearby since November. Pasadena police say overall crime in the city is down 20% since January 1st, but gun violence has gone up 50% in that time. It could be the, the economic situation that we're in because of the pandemic. It could be because of the uh, concerns for social reform to police departments, uh, but the reality is then it needs to stop. Detectives are searching for any security camera video that may show what happened yesterday, and they're trying to reassure neighbors. As for Layton, he moved in the first week of December, days after two of those recent murders happened on his street. I just hope this uh, doesn't continue. The boy's family tells me he will need a third surgery tomorrow. Investigators also say they need help with information about what happened, and they're trying to see if there is any connection between yesterday's shooting and the other recent violence in that same neighborhood. In Pasadena, Rick Montanez, CBS 2 News.